Wakanda forever. You guys, hello. I'm so hungry, I can't even remember my name right now. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Miata Shanae. If you don't know, now you know. Click that subscribe button while you're here. <laughs> okay, so I have a lot of New Year's resolutions, but one of my top resolutions for 2019 is to try new things and to escape the norm and, you know, just live life. So one thing that's going to be really, really important to me this year that I want to um, do is I want to learn more about Africa. Like I want to learn more about where we are from as black people. And so the first step of me doing that is I'm going to try African food for the first time today. I saw Carrie Hilson eating African food with her bare hands like she knows all the names of all the different foods and stuff and that's because she was getting that big African pee pee from Sergi Baca that'll make you try anything and I'm gonna see if I like it hopefully I do because there is literally nothing worse than spending money on food and it end up being nasty that's the worst money ever spent does anyone else feel like, um, as an African American, we have been kind of conditioned to feel negatively about Africa? Like, think about it, and I'm not trying to be funny, so don't laugh. Do you remember back in the day, like on the playground, people used to call either like dark skinned or ashy or smelly people who weren't hygienic African booty scratchers? Like, that's so stupid. Like, why do you associate that with Africa? Or even just, I have embedded negative feelings or not negative feelings, but fearfulness, fear, um, because of those 25 cent sponsor a kid commercials from back in the day for like the less fortunate in Africa. I just feel like I've had negative feelings instilled in me about Africa. And then like, hair braiders are real mean too so I just want to like get rid of those feelings and embrace the melanin the motherland I can tell you already that I do not like the way it smells so I don't know so this is what we got here I got fufu I've got chicken and I've got igusi. I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it y'all, but you know. So it looks like underneath I have my chicken and then I also have, I think these are oxtails. Y'all, I do not like the way this smells at all, but I committed and I went all the way out West to get it. So we gonna see. So I watched a video and they were dipping their fufu into their igusi. So this is how I'm gonna do it. All right, about to take my first bite. Come on, motherland, don't, don't let me down now. Okay. I don't want to say that I don't like it, but something about the way that this tastes, it tastes like how a zoo smells. So I got my igusi and my fufu with some chicken. That's neutral. Everybody likes chicken. So let's see what it's tasting like. Y'all, I'm really having a hard time because I want to like this. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like tough and chewy. 
Like it reminds me of turkey right now, but I know this is chicken. Hell, I like it better than everything else. Maybe I just need to get something else because I really want to like this stuff. And I feel so bad because I don't, but I really just don't like the way it tastes. Like to me, the fufu is like very dense mashed potatoes. And I like mashed potatoes, but they have butter and stuff in them and like garlic and salt. I don't really know what is in fufu. I just, I don't like it like that.